I ordered this 3M headlight restoration kit in October 2017 and it's been sitting on my shelf for almost two years because hashtag lazy. Well, the other day I saw these headlights on Amazon. I decided to go for these. They're not that expensive. I mean, I paid, I think, 180 bucks for these. And what's really neat about them is that they've got like the black bezel, which is a little different than the clear bezel over here. I'm gonna show you real quick how to swap them out. It's pretty easy. First thing you gotta do is you gotta go inside here and unplug your headlights. So this one first, just gonna rotate that and pull it away. And then on this side here, same thing. Just reach down and twist, easy. And then there's one more, which is back in here. I don't know if you can see that there. Let's see if I can focus it. Just twist this also, and that pulls back. And then we have four 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three. And then the fourth one is tucked up underneath. Probably can't see it, but it's behind the bumper here. There it is, you can see it peeking through. This one's kind of tough to get to. You just have to stick your arm underneath here and loosen that. And then for this one, you're gonna want a flat wrench, box wrench to get in here. All right, now I can see that this is free. I'm just gotta jiggle it out. Now this unit actually comes with a headlight in it already, but it comes with all the lights. I'm just gonna reuse the old ones because they're better quality bulbs. So So these come with bulbs, which is kind of cool. The heaters are all messed up, but these are a little better quality. I will do take the retaining ring because mine are a little bit messed up. Be careful when you're dealing with bulbs. You don't want to touch them with your skin. It makes the glass more brittle. Alright. Let's go ahead and put the bulbs back in. There's one step I forgot to show you, and it's because I already had the grill off. But you do have to remove the grill in order to get to this bolt on the inside here. If you've never removed the grill before, there's actually going to be one, two, three, four plastic pop rivets that go in here. And to remove them, you just use a flathead screwdriver and you press them up and pop them off. Now these can be really brittle and break, which is what happened to me. And I never bothered to replace them because I like using zip ties instead. So whenever I want to replace it, all I gotta do is just put it back on, just put it in through here, and lock it down that way. Here's a close-up of the zip ties. There's just one, two, three, and four. And again, you could just reuse the plastic clips that come with the truck, but I like this better. This is just a lot easier and makes it really easy to take them off when you want to. If you ever need to take the grill off, you just gotta clip that and then you're good to go. Quick comparison between the old and the new. These are 11 years old, they're super hazy. The light does not go through them very well. It's really, really hard to see at night. I'm really excited about having a clear lens and excited to see as soon as it gets dark here how much better the visibility becomes because of it. Another benefit here is that the bezel under here is black. I don't know if you noticed it, but it looks really, really cool with the black truck as opposed to the factory silver. Just gives it a nice look that's a little bit more unique. And they weren't too expensive. They're under 200 bucks. I'm gonna post a link in the description to where I got them on Amazon. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, consider subscribing. I'll be posting more videos soon. See you next time.